Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk about my opinion on um, quitting YouTube. So yeah, let's get into that. So pretty much since I started YouTube, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I've worked so hard on some of my YouTube videos. It's incredible, but um, yeah, I've been doing YouTube for about four years now. I begged my mom for like two years straight to uh, make me a YouTube channel, but I realized it took like 30 seconds. But uh, I've stayed pretty consistent <laughs> throughout my YouTube career. Except for like 2020 when I found TikTok and I made a bunch of TikTok videos, then went back to YouTube because TikTok's too easy to get followers on, honestly. And I don't like the platform that much. And then last year, like summer, school, basketball, all that stuff caught up to me. Or no, yeah, yeah, last year. All that stuff caught up to me, right? And uh, I was just having trouble making videos. I didn't, I couldn't find time. But then when I finally wanted to return, it said that, oh, my YouTube account has been deactivated. You have to reactivate that. So that's like an hour to do. But then I figured it out and I started posting again. I've had so many friends come up to me. They're like, oh, I want to do YouTube like you. I want to get a bunch of subscribers. I'm like, well, first of all, it's not as easy as it looks. Second of all, I had a true passion for YouTube. I've always wanted to do YouTube. My love has never fell short for YouTube. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I'm passionate too. Okay, they make a YouTube channel. Two weeks in, they stop like oh it's too hard not getting views you can't give up after two weeks i've been doing this for four years the first three years i wasn't getting anything i understand quitting as like an adult where you have jobs and like actual responsibilities i mean i have responsibilities but none are that like heavy on me right so uh yeah the fun thing about youtube i guess this applies to everything else though is that the more you do it the more you learn the easier it gets right so for the first year of YouTube, I didn't edit videos, not even joking. I did not edit any videos. Actually, when I was younger, like, um, I think late 2019-ish, like right before I got into Fortnite, because I got in real, er, into Fortnite really late, I made Minecraft videos, right? Um, I made it on my, on the family TV in the living room of my uh, dad's uh, condo. And I sat an iPad up sat in front of the tv and recorded me playing on the tv and i edited eh, i edited it on, oh my god i hate that word i edited it on a iMovie which is the worst platform to edit on do not edit on iMovie it makes sure especially on mobile don't do it on mobile but yeah i used four more ago use four more ago it's fun but uh yeah recently my content's been uh getting a lot better because well one i begged my mom for about two or three years to get a pc so i could work on content creation and i did that i worked on con uh content creation now my editing's gone a lot better and all i don't understand this people are saying like oh i don't like my voice that's why i don't want to make put my voice in the video literally just get used to it it's not that hard but pretty much the conclusion is is if you're gonna quit just if you truly want to quit, then do it. But if you're just having a hard time or struggling, just take a break. That's what I do. Just take a break. Come back fresh. Have a different mindset. And then you'll do better. But what I think about quitting on my YouTube channel, I physically cannot quit. I'm not even joking. YouTube is just, I do it without thinking. If you know what I mean. Like, it's so engraved into my head that I can't quit. It's too late now. I'm too far in. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching all the way here. If you're still watching, comment moldy cheese. Actually, no, comment I like moldy cheese. So then uh, I'll like your comment. I mean, I like all comments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.